Aaron, what did you think of the way that Johnny Brito was able to mix those pitches the first and second time through? Yeah. Um, uh, man, great job. I mean, a tough matchup. Castillo, you know, Johnny comes up here and... Again, we're hearing good things about some of the things he was working with, and and uh, I thought he did a good job even incorporating his breaking ball, especially the first time through. You know, had a little bit of a presence with it. I think it helped him with the changeup moving forward. Um, but for the most part, filling up the strike zone. I thought a little bit late. You know, he started to scatter a little bit. Maybe got away with a couple mistakes. But man, he was man. He, he couldn't ask for much more than that. Is there a, a noticeable difference with? the quality of all of his pitches from maybe a month, month and a half ago? No, I don't know. I, he's, I think he flashed that his entire time here. You know, he had, he had a couple really rough outings, one in particular. Um, but, you know, I, I think for the most part, he was either good to, to really at least keeping us in the game. And we he flashed that kind of stuff all the time. But um, <clears throat> able to, you know, really w was pitch efficient too and um, really, really proud of him on that start. That ninth inning, what seemed off with King that forced you to go to Canely? Yeah, just, <clears throat> you know, King probably his last few hasn't been quite as sharp. Um, and, and then he probably got away with one there with Teoscar even. Uh, and I just felt like, you know, with him not being quite as sharp, l losing the leadoff man there, and then maybe getting away with one with Teoscar and the lefty coming up. I had Tommy ready to go, and uh, I just felt like it was the right thing. What does it say about where this offense is at with the way they were able to force Castillo to work and throw a lot of pitches? Yeah, <clears throat> really impressive. Um, and again, another tough, kind of tough night to hit with that wind blowing in. You know, I think Kagey probably has one there. And um, so I, I just, it was it was good to see us really wear down a, an elite starter like that and make him work as hard as we did and, and get him out of there um, with, you know, what was for the most part really quality at bats up and down. Gary and then Andy. Is Willie Calhoun okay? He he did something with his quad, so we'll see what we got there. That was just running down the line? Yeah. Uh, you mentioned Brito's breaking ball already, but, uh, you know, when he was here the first time, some of the discussion was, is that third pitch going to come along enough? And so how much progress have you seen toward that goal of that being a really – good usable pitch for him uh yeah i mean it was encouraging to see it there today and and to at least be able to have a presence with it uh i thought the one one at bat that teoscar flew out to the wall on uh i thought maybe he went to it a little too much there but um um yeah i mean i mean that's that'll be important you know i think at least for him moving forward you know when it comes to being a starter you know having that third pitch that you can you know even even just a pitch you can throw in the strike zone for a strike when you need it as as something to get them off the fastball changeup. Is it overstating it to say it looked a lot better than it did earlier in the season? I don't know. I'd have to see. I mean, it seemed like it was. You know, he he actually got some swing and miss with it. He got some strikes with it. Um, it felt like maybe a little more of a presence with it. I, I'd I'd have to look at the stuff and see the quality. Back left. In the third, we saw Volpe uh, sort of dancing, dancing off. Uh, first base um, right before Bauer's home run. Um, what impresses you about Volpe's ability to sort of jumpstart the offense with his running game, even the threat of his running game? Yeah, I mean, he's he's really good at it. Um, you know, again, he's not a burner. He's just really good at, at you know, using momentum, uh, does his homework. Um, you know, it, it's one thing to be able to do it. It's also to be able to do it and – you, you, you know, a lot of guys become vulnerable when they do that. He seems to – he's covered. You know, he knows exactly what he's doing, what he's looking for, when he can get it, um, has a real good clock as far as knowing when I take off or you'll see him even sometimes take off and shut it down because he doesn't feel like he's going to make it. So he's just – he's um, he's really advanced at, at doing it on the basis from a base stealing standpoint. And, and there's no question that when he gets on, you've got to pay attention and be aware of him. Randy, there's a lot of talk now already. Are you guys going to trade for an outfitter in July? And you look at what McKinney and Bowers are doing, uh, two non-roster guys who have come up from AAA. What can you say about how they've helped you in this tough time offensively? Yeah, they've been huge. Again, I mean, you know, I, I think of Billy now. It's just been consistent at bats day in and day out.
again, even if he gets a hit or not, you know, there's been a couple of days he's he's probably gone over, but where I feel like, man, it's just good at bats though. And and today more of that. Obviously, another big home run by him and Jake, a big homer. Jake's done a really good job of impacting the ball and. You know, and especially in the leadoff spot lately, you know, I feel like he's had really competitive at bats. You know, even some some at bats that have ended and maybe outs. You know, he's he, there's a little bit of a presence to him up there. Um, and I mean, we've obviously needed it. Brian, what was the uh, explanation on Glaber getting doubled off at first? Did he think that ball was going to drop, or did he not know how many outs there were? Oh yeah, he thought it was going to drop. He was just. <laughs> you know, going like I'm going to score if this. So it's a great play by Teoscar. I mean, the shoestring. Um, so, you know, but, yeah, he thought he was going to be able to. He was kind of rolling the dice on, on it dropping. Great. Any concern with King? I know his velocity has been down a little bit his last few outings as well. Um, yeah, not – I don't know, concern just not quite as sharp. Um, I thought he came in and, and – you know, when he came in for uh, Caballero, I thought he was really sharp within that at bat. I don't always get enamored with his velocity because there's times when he's really sharp. It's 92, 3, 4. You know, we've seen him in the past even up over 95s and stuff. Um, and I feel like when he was on a really good run there, you know, go back a few times ago, it wasn't overpowering from a radar gun standpoint. Um, but there's – he probably hasn't quite been as sharp and, and losing the leadoff man there after getting ahead. Um, you know, so we're, you know, we're paying attention to it. Dan. You guys have had so many injuries, especially in the outfield. How, how difficult has that been to deal with, you know, especially if Calhoun is out and you have to make another move out there? And it's part of it. I mean, we got to play, you know, the season doesn't wait for anyone, you know, and, and, created opportunities for people and and you know opportunities that a number of guys have taken advantage of so it's uh you know it's what we prepare ourselves for and you know you know there's going to th be things that come up throughout the season and you got to be ready for it as best you can and donaldson is kind of in the eye of the storm here now a little bit with the crowd and things mm -hmm. like that do you think that has gotten to him at all oh uh, yeah i think he wants to show him you know because i i think he knows he's you know he's got he's got it in there um so there's probably a little bit of that you know wanting to show him and wanting to wanting to perform um you know i, I really think up up until you know last two nights he's <clears throat> you know he's he's been a little unlucky with his results you know last two nights um you know and two tough right on right guys too um hasn't been quite as sharp but um you know, so I think there's something too. You know, he's he's been around a long time and had a lot of success, though, and and been in the eye of the storm for, in in a lot of places in his career. So, um, but I think there's a level of him that feels like I know what's in there, and I want to I want to 